Hello everyone, welcome back to Atrey You Crochet. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the granny square. And you might be thinking, well, didn't you already show us how to make the granny square? Yes, I did. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change colors when making the granny square. And you can use this knowledge to change colors with other projects, not just the granny square. So in today's video, you're going to be needing, obviously, a crochet hook. This is size I. USA okay and you need a pair of scissors and if you want um, you can also use a darning needle or weaving needle okay and the reason that we use this is because when we change colors we have all these tails and we have to weave them in or at least that's one way of concealing them so it's optional um, but I'm going to show you how to do it just so that you know how to do it. I'll show you um, how to weave in some of those. All right. So let's get to this tutorial. All right. So we're going to start out with the slip knot. Insert our hook. And now we're going to tighten. After we tighten, we're going to chain four. Okay. So one two, three, and four. And I want to tell you now the structure of this granny square is going to be identical to the structure of the previous one. The only difference is that we're going to change colors, so it's really not that big of a deal. Now we're going to go back and insert our hook into that first chain, yarn over, and make a slip stitch like that. This creates a ring. Now we're going to chain three, two, three, and that counts as a double crochet. We're going to push this tail back out of the way. And now we're going to make two more double crochet. So yarn over, go into the center of the ring, yarn over, get that tail out of the way, yarn over, pull through to the front. We have three loops, yarn over go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go into the center of the ring again, make sure that tail is out of the way, yarn over, pull it through to the front, three loops on our crochet hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Now that we have created a shell, remember a shell is a grouping of three stitches, we are going to chain two and this will make our corner, so one, two. Now we're going to make another shell, another three double crochets. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, we've created our second shell. We'll chain two, make another shell. Alright, yarn over, go through two. We've created three shells so far, and you see these corners are being formed when we chain two. We have one more shell, so let's first chain two, one, two, and we're going to make our final shell. So far we have three shells, one, two, three. Alright, let's make our fourth shell. Alright, so we have four shelves, and so far we have three corners, right? One, two, three. We need a corner there though, right? How do we get a corner there? Yes, by chaining two. <laughs> so, chain one, chain two, and then this is that initial chain three. We go into the top chain. So, one, two, three, and we just make a slip stitch. So, yarn over, pull through all the loops until there's one loop on like that and now we have four corners okay four shells one two three four 
good four corners one two three four and now it's time to switch colors this is the fun part so we'll chain one and then we're going to cut our yarn pull through like that to tighten and that creates a knot so as I said we'll use the darning needle to hide this into the stitches we could do it now we could do it later I guess I'll show you how to do it now so I don't have to worry about showing you later so as before we just thread this needle or yarn this needle if you will since we're working with yarn not thread and then we just hide it, we go into some stitches to kind of conceal it, right? And then we pull through. You don't want to pull through so tightly that it starts to affect the shape of the of the project, okay? And then you can do it again. Pull that through. Your yarn will probably want to try to split, but not a big deal. And then go back the other way, maybe. Pull it through some stitches. Okay. And then I told you I, you know, I like to tie a knot if I can. So I'm just going to use this crochet hook. I would normally use a smaller crochet hook, but it's not a big deal just to kind of pull it through. Um, in fact, I will use a smaller crochet hook at this point. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my smaller crochet hook. This is a size E USA. And I'm just going to go in to some stitch, some random stitch, and pull this remaining tail through it like that. Okay. And I could continue doing that until it's kind of hidden. So pull it in, pull it through like that, right? And while it doesn't look as clean on this side, the front side, you see the shells unaffected, right? Because I didn't pull too tightly. All right, so now, as I said, the fun part, changing the color. So we, I gotta remember now where I, <laughs> this is where I ended, where I slip stitched, right here. I did such a good job of hiding the yarn, I couldn't remember where. <laughs> Alright, so we take our size I crochet hook and we're gonna create another slip knot. Pull that through. Insert the hook, tighten, and then the corner, the last corner that we just made, we're going to go into that corner. Alright, so we're into that corner like that. Now we're going to yarn over, pull it through to the front, and then pull it through that loop. So we basically did a slip stitch there, and that secures it. Okay? Now we're going to chain out three. So one, two, three. And while we're in this corner, we might as well make a shell there, right? So we're going to put two more double crochets there. So yarn over, go into that same hole, and put two more double crochets there. Okay? Alright, so that's a shell in that corner. Now here's a shell in the previous row, so we're going to have to chain two to cross that. We're basically creating a bridge to go over that shell down there. And after the chain two, we're going to put another shell in this corner now. Remember a shell is three, since we're working with the double crochet stitch, a shell is three double crochet. Okay. And in every corner, we're going to have two shells now, okay? So we need another shell. We only have one shell in this corner. We need another shell over here now. Now you might be thinking, well, you only put one shell in this corner. Well, when we get back around to it, we'll put the other shell there. So 
you always it's always shell chain two shell chain two so we did a shell which is three double crochet so now we're going to chain two one two and then we'll put another shell into that same corner so one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet and now that makes a nice corner here's a shell in the row below so we need a bridge so we chain two remember it's always shell then chain two and then we put our first shell into that corner okay looks a little weird right yes it does because we need another shell in there remember each corner gets two shells this corner has two shells you have to put two shells in that corner and in between each shells we always chain two so we just did a shell now we're going to chain two one two that creates a nice corner and then we go back into the same corner and create another shell so one two three and that creates a nice corner chain two that's our bridge to cross over the shell kind of you can look at it as water <laughs> it is kind of a uh, till um, and then we will create our shell in that corner chain two one two put another shell in that same corner two three that's our third corner now and then we gotta cross this water the shell so we chain two one two and then we go into this final corner which only has one shell in it right now and we put that other shell in there so one two three okay each corner has two shells this corner two shells this corner two shells this corner two shells and then we're going to chain two here all right so i've chained two to make that last corner and then we're going to slip stitch it into the top chain of the chain three so one two three just like before yarn over pull through all the way until there's one loop on the hook all right now we're going to chain one cut our yarn and pull through now we're going to get our next color and we'll do the same thing create a slip knot so that we can put this on our hook okay and we go into that corner that we just made see this is the tail we go into the corner we just made and sort of hook that way bring this blue yarn to the back like that and then we're going to pull it through to the front and create a slip stitch okay and tighten and now it's secured onto the granny square and we're going to chain three and start in this blue one two three all right just like before we're going to put go back into that same hole and put two double crochets here so that we can have a shell in that first corner and remember when we get back around we'll make the other shell because every corner should have two shells for a total of six double crochet and then we will chain two and remember it's always chain two shell from here on out so we chain two and we go into this space down here now we've crossed the bridge or crossed this yellow water <laughs> and we go into the space so we put our shells in these spaces and we just put three double crochet there okay 
don't worry about this yellow you know I'll tuck it away later and you already know how to do that because I've shown you chain two shell one two three chain two now I go back into that same corner for that second shell because every corner gets two shelves last corner chain two cross over the yellow water <laughs> put another shell in the space below and the chain two space below we call that the chain two space because we chain two and it left us with a space or a gap we did a shell so now we know we chain two remember it's always chain two shell or shell chain two however you want to look at it so every shell just to reiterate every shell is separated by a chain two chain two the only difference is that in the corners you go and you put two shells in the corner versus one shell in the chain two space below it's the only difference grabbing some of the yarn that I don't mean to grab so just be careful with that okay chain two one two shell in the chain two space below chain two to take us to the corner and we're gonna put two shells in here so that's one shell chain two second shell So this is what it's looking like so far, okay? Chain two, cross the yellow water to this chain two space, and we put one shell in it. Chain two, and now we go back to the initial corner and put that other shell in there that we need. And now we need to create that last corner by chaining two and doing a slip stitch. So we go into the third chain up, one, two, three, just like before. Yarn over, pull through until there is one loop left on the crochet hook. Okay, so now we will chain one just like before. Cut our yarn. Pull through. And we're going to go for our final color, which will be white. So we'll create our slip knot. You guys should know very well how to make the slip knot by the end of this tutorial since I do it like four times, I think. All right. And we go into this corner like that. We yarn over, pull it through all the way until there's one loop. So we do a slip, slip stitch, tighten, and that secures the yarn to this granny square. Now we're going to go and chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to work our first shell into that same corner. So we're going to put two more double crochets into that same corner that okay and then chain two across the blue water <laughs> trying to get these tails out of the way from the previous yarns okay so we cross the blue water and we put a shell in this chain two space
just gonna go one side from this corner to that corner and then I'm going to uh, get off and uh, meet you at the end of this round so we'll put a shell in there remember our only one shell goes in the chain two spaces chain two across the blue water <laughs> put another shell in this chain two space notice the number of chain two spaces increases with each round so in this one we only had one chain two space right between the corners this one this round we have two chain two spaces between the corners this corner and that corner so chain two and now we're finally at the corner where we're gonna put two shells so shell chain two and then other shell, second shell, into that same corner. And now we have our first nice corner with two shells in it. Okay. So we're going to continue doing that all the way around. So chain two, shell, chain two, shell, chain two, shell, chain two, shell into that same corner. And I'll continue doing that around. And I'll meet you. Once I get back here. Alright, we are making our way to that final corner. So we're going to chain two. And then we're going to put the last shell in the corner. So three double crochets. Because every corner gets two shells. That's just the beginning tail of the yarn. And then we're going to chain two and do a slip stitch so that we can have a nice corner. So slip stitch into the top chain of the chain three until there's one loop left on the hook and chain one, cut our yarn and pull through. And then we can, as I said, we can hide all these tails I can go back and hide all of the tails in the back, okay? But this is how you make a granny square changing colors. Now there's one thing I want to note. I just realized that this granny square might be a little bit different than the one in the first tutorial where I didn't change colors because for some reason I, I did chain twos in between these side shells okay I think in the previous one I only chained two in the corners to separate the corner shells so meaning shell chain two shell shell chain two shell shell chain two shell shell chain two shell and I think in the previous one instead of chaining two in between these I only chained one okay it gives a more snug look in my opinion. So if you look at this one, see I only chained one. I mean this chain two is always, that always happens in the corners. The chain two is what makes a nice corner. But I believe in between the shells I only chained one. I only see one chain there. It doesn't really matter which one you use. You'll still get a nice square. But I think in terms of preference I prefer the chain one because it just gives it a more snug square squarely defined look okay so that's just something to note you don't have to do chain twos with these side shells only in the corners you can it is sufficient to do chain ones there okay so anyway I hope this tutorial was helpful I hope you now know how to change colors when making a granny square and you know how to hide the yarn um, in the stitches using the darning needle, threading needle, weaving needle, tapestry needle, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video.